All right. Welcome to the Banjo Joe Show. <laughs> That's our van. And I'm Banjo Joe. People. Mountain. We're not in Illinois anymore. Boy, it got cold last night, didn't it, Danielle? Yes, it did. Chilly. Feels wonderful this morning. Yeah, it warms up in about 10 seconds as soon as that sun came over the mountain. It's funny, there's two whistles hanging in a tree over here, and it made me think of this camps had bear trouble and then there's some camping areas kind of behind us that have been gated off and closed for uh, restoration rehabilitation something like that I wonder if they're closing it because there was uh, attack of the bear there's bear attacks <laughs> slipping the hole there's some holes there's holes. <laughs> there's holes out here too but we're in a cool valley yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a national forest. How are you feeling today? I feel good. Any little tiny thing I did yesterday, I would uh, get dizzy. Like I stood up too fast. Getting dressed, putting my shoes on, I felt fine. So I can dress myself now. <laughs> yeah, I feel good. We're going to take a little walk up this little road and across the creek. We'll see what we can see over here in the pines. Uh, it's so beautiful out here. All the wildflowers are blooming. All these little asters or some yarrow and dandelions and chicory it looks like. And all kinds of pretty little flowers in pine forest up there. You ready, Danielle? Yes. All right. Maybe we should put the trash right here. We don't want to attract any bears. No. We've already got plenty of bears in our life. Don't worry. Kissy kissy on camera. We'll have to cut that out, won't we, Danielle? Yeah. This is PG-13. <laughs> all the little children just want to watch the show. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. It's cool. We won't say any F-bombs. <laughs> we'll drop the F-bomb on you. Closed for rehabilitation and future development. So do you think that means that we can't walk back here or just close uh, to vehicles? Yeah, it looks like roads closed. Yeah. That's They've got, because it's on a gate. A little pool there. <laughs> it is too cold. It's too cold for swimming. It's too cold for swimming. It's too cold to wade in, even. Yeah. It is cold. Wow. Yeah. You don't see the other mountain from over here. And you can smell the pines, man. When the sun. Yeah, it smells amazing. Yeah. The sun heats them up. That pine scent coming off these trees. I love it. Dust. It's amazing. It's an amazing smell. Love the pine trees. Yeah. Tiny little cabin. With the door busted out. <laughs> it's been on fire too, it looks like. And some fire scars and charred tree trunks. Please don't put trash in the toilets. Yeah. There's no toilet in there though. No toilet anymore. So it's the old toilet cabin. Well, oh, that's an old pump, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Stole the handle. saying hello. Is that a campsite you think? There's a little pull offs everywhere. It's an old campground though. It's gated off. Uh, 
alpine strawberries. Are you going to eat it? I don't want you to eat it. You do? They're so sweet. I you don't eat know. it. You Okay. You eat one. I'll okay. find you one. You find me one. Mmm, pretty tasty. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, you find me one. Yep. Mmm, found some alpine strawberries. Yeah, they were good. They were good. Fun to have a little taste of it. And they're tiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but packed with flavor. They really are. But I like to sample it, but we got fruit in the van. We're gonna leave them out here for the chipmunks. Boy, it's getting warm in the sun. Yeah. But it's nice to get out and have a walk in the morning after coffee. Pretty, pretty purple flowers over there. Yeah. Looks like another little campsite here next to ours. These are cool flowers. Mm-hmm. They are. They're little blue cups. Yeah. We're going for an evening walk over the mountain. We're going to cross over the mountain tonight. Wow. Really? I love that. Yeah. Shadows, mountain shadows are the coolest. They are. They're huge. <laughs> Man, that's beautiful up here. It is beautiful up here. It's so cool too because above the tree line from down here, it just looks like dirt. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it is beautiful. That's where most of the wildflowers are right now. Yeah. Yeah, it just looks like dirt and rocks. Yeah. Be blue. Past the tree line. It's it's amazing because it does. It just looks like dirt and rocks. And then you get up there and it's all kinds of stuff up there. Yeah. Flowers and snow at the same time. Yeah. And mountain sheep. Yeah. Bighorn sheep. Yeah. Oh man, I am happy to be here. Mm -hmm. We had a chipmunk steal some uh, chocolate while go off our table. Yeah, I thought Joe ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I ate one little piece of it. I but. went back over and there was only one piece left. I had broken up a bunch of little pieces of a dark chocolate bar and then there were two little teeth marks or <laughs> claw marks I'm not sure yeah that, we're getting down to the last of our chocolate so that's not... yeah we made a rookie mistake and did not pick up the Oreos and milk yeah we have no cookies you guys yeah we're camping without cookies so <laughs> just have to live with it yeah. all right so we're just walking around enjoying the sunset on the mountains and look at this view behind me I mean it is spectacular in this valley and we didn't you know when we left Illinois we didn't really have a plan on where what where we were going exactly we don't have an itinerary we know we have our backpacking gear and we know we're gonna uh, go backpacking at some point we knew what to do we knew uh, you know you get up to the national forest and find some forest roads and just start looking for the right spot to camp and acclimate a little bit to stay up in this valley here we got here yesterday probably stay tomorrow and then head to town and get some supplies and go on to another place but you know this is perfect place to camp and enjoy the beauty of the mountains we've got a mountain stream right by our camp and it's just fresh air and beauty the aspen and the pines just the smells and funny little chipmunks up here it's just a good fun place to be but we know what to do we don't uh, have to plan anything really we just travel around and we're good to go anywhere so there's not much air up here we're over 10,000 feet I think Danielle yeah. so that's when I really start to notice and uh, been doing pretty good today 
we're climbing this hill and uh, it doesn't take long to get my heart thumping and uh, you gotta take you know kind of control your breath take deep breaths deep slow breaths and then when you stop for a break you know it, the heart rate goes down quickly and uh, just kind of catch your breath yeah I bet the van would make it up this I bet it'd make it down it, I know that. You guys know where the oxygen is? Anybody got an oxygen tank? I didn't bring any water. Oh man. We're like 12 miles from the van. We are not. <laughs> okay, let's keep going a little further. It's getting amazing up there. Okay. glad we tried this hill out. <laughs> and, uh, we can go back down if you want to. go back now? Yeah, you want to go back now. Well, we could keep going, but this is a giant mountain. Maybe yeah. a while before we get to the top of this. All right. I didn't bring any water or chapstick. Okay. It is beautiful. Good morning, good people. Is this still morning? Yeah. Probably is. The sun is intense, and uh, we're gonna put up our canopy. Is that what we call it? I think the canopy. An awning. An awning, yeah, because the canopy is actually a yogurt cup that we pee in. <laughs> oh, canopy. <laughs> hey, it's a van life joke. Uh, we're gonna put up our tarp. What do you call it? Awning. That's what it is. It's an extension of our. Our, our porch. Our porch. It's our RV and our awning. Uh, this isn't going very well. <laughs> focus, focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to make a little shade, hang out here for a while, and then I think we might pack up and drive up to the pass and see what's up there and then go to town to get some supplies and some internet. Oh, what a beautiful day up here in the Rocky Mountains. really satisfying being out here and filtering our own water from a mountain stream and just being in these remote natural places. I don't know, I can't really explain what it is, but I know that I love it and uh, this is great. We've packed up camp and we're driving up to the pass just to get a look at the view and then we're going to drive back down out of the valley and head to town. <laughs> it's really bumpy. Sorry guys. <laughs> Hold on. It is bumpy but our van will make it. Alright guys? Yeah, it's going to make it. <laughs> She's going to make it, you guys. <laughs> Probably take this van places it shouldn't go. <laughs> we got a spare tire. <laughs> yeah. That'll save us. We're up here at Weston Pass. This is just up from where we camped. And I don't know, it's over 11,000 feet, but it goes down the other side. And we just came up here to see what we could see. We are going to head down after we get a good look. But you can see a few peaks yeah. over there. We're up here in it.
cool in our brakes coming down this mountain. This big van's not really made for this, but uh, we could smell the brake pads getting hot. So I'm just stopped just to let them cool off for a little bit. There's a lot of sharp rocks embedded in the road. That's the main thing I'm trying to avoid. We're just taking it easy and slow. And even in first gear, it still uh, goes too fast. You know, so I've got it in low gear and have to use the brakes almost constantly. So uh, brakes got pretty hot coming down the mountain, and when we turned on the highway, uh, I could tell it was bogging down, it was pulling to the left, and I could smell the brakes. Uh, we didn't go very far, and I pulled over. The left brake is, is sticking, it's hot, and you can feel the hubcaps a lot hotter than the right side, you know. So I think as it cools, it's gonna, it's gonna break free, so, so wish us luck. My golly, we're gonna try it. You ready? Yes. When I toured with Whistle Pigs, we had a minivan that was overloaded with equipment, you know stacked high with three guys in it and all our stuff and uh, one of the vans we had the brakes got so hot the smoke came off of them we pulled off to a rest stop and uh, they were smoking the brakes were and uh, there was a little girl there that said daddy is uh, that car on fire <laughs> you know and I wanted to be like no little girl that car's not on fire <laughs> just the brakes are just hot and you got mad at her <laughs> be cool man be a lot cooler if you did <laughs> <laughs>